this is your chance to just Hi, mom. Rock and type thing. Okay. Let's, let's the it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. It's fine. Like, mm. So I answer the question? Yeah, I do. Okay, we're starting now. All right, ready, set, go. So the moment that defines my experience probably has to be when I was in first year and I took math class 1 ML3. Um, so I ended up in a math class that wasn't accessible. So I went to SAS and I asked them to deal with the issue and fix the room or move the room. They posted on Avenue to Learn, um, gave us a new location, we moved to TSH 120. Except the professor was like, oh no, I've taught in this old room for years and I don't want to switch. Half the class with me ended up in the new room, half the class ended up in the old room, and it was a mess. Um, I ended up not being able to get into my class for weeks until I went to the Dean of Students uh, to deal with the issue. At that point, I felt so silenced and unheard that I promised myself that if I ever felt like that again, I'd take matters into my own hands. Um, so the next year I ran for a student representative assembly and I was able to push um, the university to allocate $30,000 toward fixing the lifts on campus and within a year I was able to push the McMaster Students Union into creating a service for students with disabilities um, run by students with disabilities. I was also able to become the Ontario Director of the National Educational Association of Disabled Students. So that was my defining moment I guess because one it showed me that my voice matters Two, it showed me that every student voice should matter and it shouldn't take a student having to go through all this bureaucracy in order to get things done and that we have the power to take matters into our own hands by students for students. I know that's not three words but... So in terms of the services side, I was the abilities coordinator for diversity services last year. Um, I've also been a part of the Womanists, United in Color, Mac Africans, the McMaster Muslims Association. The most difficult platform point to accomplish, but the one I'm most excited about is the tuition point. Um, so we saw a tuition brought up last year um, by Ahima, and he created a tuition task force. What I want to do is I want to take that a step farther. I want to work with every single student union across Ontario to lobby the provincial government to lower tuition. Right now, we work with USA, the Ontario Undergraduate Student Alliance, and there's only seven schools that belong to USA. I really believe that if we're going to keep talking about tuition, nothing will actually get done unless we're working collectively with student unions across our province to figure out a plan together to lobby for lower tuition. I think what distinguishes me from, there's a, there's a lot of things, there's like the hair, <laughs> there's my gender, but when just, what distinguishes me the most I guess is my story of how I got involved. I didn't get involved, like I wasn't in leadership things in high school or anything like that. I got involved because I was frustrated and I, I saw that things needed to be changed and I changed them myself and I worked with other students. But in terms of my platforms, I really wanted to make sure that it, it was reflective of students like me. Students who had a math class issue that wasn't really being addressed. So I met with as many clubs as possible. I met with many administration as possible. I went as far as to sit down twice for a meeting with Patrick Dean, the, the president of the university, to make sure that my plans were feasible. <sighs> food, okay, food things are tricky for me just because like I'm such a picky eater. So that's like, hmm, probably chicken, probably, um, lettuce and probably probably there will be bread on top of the sandwich and under the sandwich that's pretty much it she's not a sponsoring the, uh, the rival yeah <laughs> oh, no.